contact me for W5Y. Contact uh, why I sue for the ARRL crash. They put me in. Uh, I told her shortly after our divorce, I said, well, you know, they'll only give me, you know, maybe, you know, uh, you know, a few days here, you know, and she said, what do you mean? I said, well, in 30 days or less, we'll have a fire in Torrance County. That's how I became a district emergency coordinator, was Don Wood's blessings and Bill Kaufman's. There was a major fire in the 29th day, and uh, that was the day before Thanksgiving. So, um, you know, there's been a lot happening. You know, I'm gonna tell you, when you go to building the antennas, don't worry about using garbage, because that's just what it is. <laughs> now, when you take an antenna, and you got a G5 on a V junior, you gotta have, those are insulators, by the way, you have to have a 55 foot spread, okay? On a 102 inch foot, uh, uh, full size, you have to have a 100, and about, about 108 feet, okay? We come over here at the middle, and you have your ladder line, okay? And you got your 450 ohm open wire. And that's the feed point, okay? When you have the feed point, you know, here, you have to come away from the antenna just a little bit, you know, maybe five, six degrees, okay? Now, when you do this, your wavelength is gonna go like this and like that. And it's gonna come over here and it's gonna come over here. That's on a junior, okay? <coughs> on a full size. It's gonna go like that. on ladder line here. Don't cut the figure off of there, you know, the SO239. On a, a junior, you can go with, you know, like, uh, you know, like, well, let's say about 35 feet, okay, of coax cable. Good quality. If you use uh, RG8X, two double shield, you don't have to worry about the electronic magnetic pulse of that, okay, that it reduces it, knocks it all the way out usually. And that's why I tell people, you know, when you buy a coax cable, don't skimp on it. Buy a very good coax cable. If you're going to run an amplifier, make sure you run pretty good coax cable. Don't buy garbage. Don't buy cheap stuff, okay? Because that means from your antenna tuner, or your lighting arrestor, and make sure you have one, especially around here, all the way out to that antenna. You got to put oh four to five, six turns in a junior, and on a full size, you have to put six to eight turns right before it goes into the feed point. You know, a lot of people think, well, you know, I don't have to put a right angle adapter on there, it probably would help. But, you know, some of the coax cables that I've seen. You mind if I take this off? Um, okay. You ever seen household wire THHN that they sell over here at Home Depot and Lowe's? Yeah. That's about what it's going to look like <laughs> after about six months outside. The sun here will bake that antenna to death. You know, don't put anything on there other than MTW wire. Reason being is is that, you know, we, you know, uh, and, you know, I hate to say it, but uh, poor Tony over there, she's, she's helping Daryl build every kind of antenna in the world and every kind of antenna, you know, uh, well, what you going to do? Well, I don't know, you know, what do you mean? I don't know. And I can tell you this, if you don't have 
like a, a 14 gauge wire, you know. This wire has been used for years, okay? And this stuff, you can literally take it and wad it up like that and cross on it and everything else. <laughs> and it'll fall back, okay? And we double crimp our connectors with aluminum crimps. You ain't gonna get them out of there. I've had guys try to literally take them out with a, you know, with a, 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 a wire all or a, like a punch or something to try and get the thing out of them, you know? And the reason we use 450 ohm ladder line is because literally 300 ohm costs a lot more money, okay? I buy this stuff here, and I still get it seven cents a foot less than I do uh, 300 ohm ladder line. 300 ohm ladder line, Mike Scales, K5SCA, brought one to, uh, over to, uh, uh, what was that we worked on, Bill? Was that Cleveland County Search and Rescue up there or, uh, that we did that W5YIV testing on? Way out in the middle of nowhere over there, Cuba, that me and Dre, you drove to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they he had a, one of those one of the company that I bought out here's older antennas, and they had 300 ohm twin TV lead. Here, this is one inch wide, and that other's half inch, and there's no air cooling in it. Okay, even if there was. I don't think it would work, you know. I had a man get on, he, uh, on uh, I believe it was eham.net one time. He asked me, he said, you know, he said, I've been sailing the world around. I said, really? And he said, yeah. He said, I need some help with my antenna. I sold probably, I don't know. I've got several dealers. One is DZ Kit in Loveland, Colorado. And uh, he he told me, he said, you know, Darren, he said, we can't seem to get, you know, uh, you know, I can't get my antenna to tune. And I said, what do you do with it? He said, well, <coughs> I took it and I cut the feeder off. <laughs> it went straight to the tuner. That won't work. You know, that just makes it a regular dipole. Okay, and so he ruined the antenna. I told him, get it. I said, you still got the feeder? He said, yeah. I said, take it and put it back on. I said, because that there. And I said, even if you've got to walk. He said, how long? I said, how long's your boat? He said, well, I guess maybe 60 foot, 50 foot. I said, okay, take that and put it on the sails, make it inverted. <laughs> you can still invert them and you can still feed it, okay? He did not know that trick. I don't know who he bought that antenna from. There's one manufacturer that uses uh, twin TV lead, uh, 300 ohm, and uh, literally, um, and they use household wire too, THHN, you know? And you can't take that and make that wire work. It stretches way too much. Literally, because it's used to just lay and boil it in those walls. This here has a lifetime warranty on it, and I'll tell you why. We do not recommend certain products. We recommend that you go down to AutoZone, Walmart, and get some dielectric grease. <coughs> Reason being is, is that that stuff. Well, I hate to tell y'all, but I'm also a master electrician with the city of Irving, Texas, and also the city of Dallas, and the city of Austin, and the city of Grand Prairie, and, uh, you know, I'm also, you know, my brother made sure that I had these knowledge points, okay? And when the, you know, when we do these jobs, and they're in a soft or coastal type of area like Houston, Galveston, okay, or here at your own home. Even my antennas, they have this on them, you know, that dielectric grease. When I go in there and I plug this in outside, 
even my lightning connections, make sure that you have, um, what is it, Permatex dielectric grease. It's only like three bucks for a little old tube of it, six bucks for a great big tube. You know, and you know, you know, I'm probably the only person, you know, you know, whenever uh, she and I were married, she said, you know, you got to make something different, and I did. I put a lifetime warranty on these antennas. Yes. Can I interrupt you? You, you say you use dielectric grease, but you also say don't use antenna or connector uh, well, sealant. Well, uh, uh, there is a connector seal that's out there, and the reason being is water will get in it. It's supposed it, to keep the water out. out there. It still gets in there. Well, it'll get in there worse without it, wouldn't it? Not if this is put in there. Okay. Now, you're better off just taking it loose and throwing it on the ground, literally, because I've had that black stuff. Okay, and you know the brand I'm talking about. I just can't say it. Coaxi. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's that or, you know, uh, coax uh, something, you know, I guess. Well, anyway, it, it really gets water in there, and I didn't know it, okay? She had me, you know, uh, well, I took one of mine apart in another place where we lived, and this was for my Butternut HF6V. And I had wires going everywhere and connected to the chain link fence and all up <laughs> down here and there and everywhere. And it was double wide mobile home, so I thought I'd run a couple of wires over to it too. And sure enough, you know, 